Uh, hello everyone, it's Steve from Hornby Militaria again. Uh, earlier on in the year I did an explainer video on some of the different kinds of American canteen that was used, uh, the aluminium, enamel and steel. Um, one thing I didn't uh, cover in the video because I didn't have an example to hand uh, was uh, what's called ethosol, plastic canteens. Um, as detailed in the original video, during 1941 and 42, aluminium became much harder to source because it was re regarded uh, as vital for other industries such as aircraft production. Um, they experimented with different types of canteen. Um, the enamelled ones are a low grade steel with an enamel coating. Something else they also trialled at the time was this, it's a very early form of plastic. Uh, this particular example it is dated 1943, which I think you can probably see on the bottom. You can just buy the US there, 1943, uh, by Mac Moulding Company. Now, sometimes I see these referred to as being experimental. They're not experimental. They were actually issued. Uh, I've also seen sometimes that they are referred to as Marine Corps canteens. Again, that's not true. They were issued throughout uh, the US forces. Much like the uh, enamelled canteens, they were quite unpopular. You can see, occurring on the inside of the plastic, uh, white uh, residue. It's quite poor quality plastic. Um, this residue built up on the inside and it turned the canteens from quite a clear colour into this yellowy sort of caramel uh, colour that you can see here. Um, it also gave the drinking water quite a bad taste. So these weren't popular, they didn't last that long. Much like the enamel canteens, they didn't last very long. They were eventually all... Uh, replaced uh, with uh, the um, higher grade steel that we know uh, from the end or towards the end of the Second World War. Um, that said, these were produced but from 1942 to 1944, so you do see some 44 dated ones. They're a little bit harder to find than the 43 dated ones. This is one of the probably later 43 because it has a domed cap, uh, whereas the earlier ones, 1942 model, will have a, um, a flat cap across the top. So they're very rarely seen, quite difficult to find. Um, you are probably looking twice as much as an enamelled canteen, uh, maybe even a little bit more than that, uh, depending on the condition of it. For reactors, I wouldn't recommend drinking out of it because it is low grade plastic. It is a very early form of plastic. Um, and it's probably not gonna be all that healthy to drink out of. So if you, uh, if you are a reenactor, I would stick with the uh, later war uh, steel canteens. But hopefully that's helpful, um, bring you a slightly uh, rarer variant. Uh, thank you very much.